So when does a background become a front ground? Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and Altenew have finally released the new refills for the two sets of their artist markers, the D and E set, and I've got some of them here. And these are great not just to refill your markers, although it will do that 10, each color will refill a marker 10 times. There's 30 mils in each, so really good value. But you can also use them for alcohol ink techniques. So that's what I'm going to be doing with you today. I've chosen some of the blues and blue green colors. I thought I'd do kind of a monochromatic -y. So, oh no, it's not monochrome. Oh, it kind of is monochromatic, but it's more like um, using my analogous colors scheme together. <laughs> and I recently was playing with some alcohol inks and I had a comment from a lovely lady at my YouTube channel and she was telling me that she normally uses acetate and I thought that got me thinking and I wanted to do that so thank you very much for your inspiration I had a lot of fun creating this background well it's not actually going to be a background but you'll see what I mean <laughs> in a minute so I just treated it like I would any normal alcohol ink background and I used the blower to try and move the color around I basically just kept dropping color on I didn't use any blending solution here today this is actually part of a painter flower release and I've actually decided to use the iris painter flower here today on the front of my card I'm stamping it a couple of times with the obsidian black ink because this is actually going to be my background I wanted it to be fairly bold and be able to see the iris details through the acetate alcohol ink front ground that I created and my biggest problem with using either acetate or vellum I'm sure you're the same is adhering it without seeing any of the adhesive so I created a panel and that was using the rounded rectangles dies my sentiment I wanted a circular sentiment so I've got one of the half tone circles and the word you from the flowering <laughs> sisters die set and I've just sort of backing it here with a little bit of acetate as well I think I really overcomplicated the sentiment today I should have just left it nice and simple <laughs> I couldn't help myself so to get the center of the O in the exact place I simply just reinserted the die cut word U and then added some glue behind that I stamped a portion of a sentiment from the sentiment strips 2 set and heat that with I the <laughs> I used the pure white embossing powder and heated that and this is how it becomes a foreground so I've grabbed the die cut border that I created and I've kind of worked out exactly where I want my acetate to sit and now I'm laying it over top I've added some dotted adhesive and this sticks really well to acetate everything sticks to acetate <laughs> and I've picked it up where I wanted the colors to sit over my stamped image I can just use some scissors to cut the edges off and I pop the whole thing up with some foam how cool is that <laughs> I was struggling like I said I overcomplicated the sentiment I tried a few different ideas and eventually I was going to do it like see-through and I just didn't like the way that looked I didn't hate it but I didn't love it and in the end I went with some of the love for stripes paper it's from the set a and that green I thought went really well with the greens and blues that I've used and I popped that up on the front of the card so there's my front ground as a background if you did like this video it'd be awesome if you click on the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed that'd be just as wonderful too I always appreciate every visit that you make here I look forward to seeing you again real soon till next time happy paper crafting bye